We can get large benefits in terms of animal performance by including white clover in the grazing sward. Within the programme, I and the other researchers, um, the advisors, the team of technicians and technologists also collaborate um, within the Environment, Soils and Land Use programme here in Johnstown Castle, but also with the wider programmes and the departments within the organisation. And an example of this is the research um, that is underway with the last number of years and that's continuing on the incorporation of white clover into int intensive grazing systems. And Brian McCarthy is going to cover um, some of that work that has been ongoing at Clonakilty Agriculture College. We've been looking at white clover uh, here in Clonakilty for the last number of years. And the current experiment is basically investigating two different sward types, so grass only sward and a grass clover sward, at two levels of nitrogen fertilizer. So 150 kilograms of nitrogen per hectare per year and 250 kilograms of nitrogen per hectare per year. The cows grazing the grass clover swards are producing more milk and milk solids than the cows grazing the grass only swards. We're not seeing any effect of nitrogen fertilizer rate on milk yield or milk solids yield per cow, but we have seen a positive effect of white clover. So cows grazing the grass clover swards have produced 25 kilograms more milk solids per cow than cows grazing the grass only swards. We've seen a big difference between the swards receiving 250 kilograms of nitrogen per hectare per year and the swards receiving 150 kilograms of nitrogen per hectare per year. So there was about a 1.2 tonne dry matter per hectare difference between these two treatments. We've seen uh, about a half a tonne of dry matter per hectare increase for the grass clover swards compared to the grass only swards.